Starting Saturday, private health insurers will be required to cover up to eight home COVID-19 tests per month for people on their plans. Under the new policy, Americans will be able to either purchase home testing kits for free under their insurance, or submit receipts for the tests for reimbursement. PCR tests and rapid tests ordered or administered by a health provider will continue to be fully covered by insurance with no limit. In another step to help Americans get access to tests, on Wednesday, the federal government will launch a website to begin making 500 million at-home COVID-19 tests available via mail. The administration also is scaling up emergency rapid testing sites in areas experiencing the greatest surges in cases. After pasting the upper Midwest with up to a foot of snow in some areas, Winter Storm Izzy is forecasted to dive into the south on Saturday and into Sunday. The storm is expected to bring snow into cities such as Memphis and Nashville, Tennessee, and Charlotte, North Carolina. Ice will be a particular concern with the storm in portions of the Carolinas. Meanwhile, Atlanta could see its first measurable snow in four years. The winter weather is expected to bring major travel disruptions throughout the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday weekend, AccuWeather said. Novak Djokovic was reported to be back in immigration detention Saturday after his legal challenge to avoid being deported from Australia for being unvaccinated for COVID-19 was moved to three judges of a higher court. A federal court hearing has been scheduled for Sunday, a day before the men's number one ranked tennis player and nine-time Australian Open champion was due to begin his title defense at the first Grand Slam tennis tournament of the year. Immigration Minister Alex Hawke on Friday blocked the 34-year-old's visa, which was originally revoked when he arrived in Melbourne on January 5.